groups 28,000 security personnel. Crowds estimated at between 700,000 and 900,000 people. That's what Inauguration Day holds by the numbers. Mark Austin joins us from Washington, D.C. and has eye-opening insight from a San Antonio professor about terror threats. In the four years since the last inauguration, terrorism has skyrocketed around the world. The worst attack since 9-11 here in the U.S. took place just last year at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando. A St. Mary's University professor is taking notes and shares his thoughts on what or who could be a danger to this year's inauguration. Terror threats loom large in Dr. Jeffrey Atticott's mind. He heads the Center for Terrorism Law at St. Mary's University. The former Green Beret and Army lawyer has his own assessment. I think with all the precautions that are being made, I think we're going to see a very safe inauguration. I mean, they've got snipers on rooftops. They've got, uh, there's going to be so much security there in and around Washington, D.C. It's no secret there's an ever-present threat of a lone wolf attack like at Fort Hood and Orlando. We might have one individual that attempts to do something, but the casualties are going to be small and they won't get anywhere near uh, President Trump. He says ISIS has a 9-11 style attack plan, but says unsophisticated attacks are easier to carry out. Is where you might see someone using a vehicle perhaps, and a lot of these guys are copycats. We saw what happened in France just using a vehicle. The same thing happens in Israel. <laughs> Dr. Attica says the window of opportunity is wide open and he doesn't mince words on what ifs. Therefore, if I was going to be a terrorist that conducted an attack, I would launch my attack before the inauguration to try to disrupt that process. They know that they're going to get maximum news coverage, so it's a very tempting target because the goal of the terrorists is to kill one and frighten 10,000. Dr. Atticott has even more to say. He voices his opinion on the way forward for the Trump administration. When it comes to foreign policy, he covers everything from ISIS to Russia, Iran to radical Islam. Look for that story online at ksat.com and also on the KSAT Facebook page. Reporting from Washington, Mark Austin, KSAT 12 News.